ladies and gentlemen, your request is now live in front of you. How many freaking times can you guys ask me for some gym footage? Well, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Solid Mike back at Untamed Strength, one of my favorite gyms on the freaking planet. I've had a busy 2018. You know, I, I trust me, I want to I want to film and I want to make the content that not only I love to film and create, but also what you guys want to see. But it's been a hectic year. You know, you guys saw the house tour. I, I, I bought a house in October. I moved in. I'm settling in. I started full time Twitch streaming 40 hours plus a week. I started a brand new podcast, 50% pod, podcast, 50% facts with the one and only Jim McD. And since I moved, uh, I moved to a new location, Untamed Strength, uh, it's not too far away, but it's probably 30 to 45 minutes depending on traffic. And there's a gym right next to my house uh, that I can walk to. So because of that, because of location and how busy I am with Twitch, uh, YouTube and podcasting, it's much more convenient for me to just uh, walk to the gym, get it in, half an hour weights, half an hour lifting, uh, and then 30 minutes to 45 minutes of cardio, and then I'm out of there, you know? Um, the training has been kind of up and down. Uh, you guys know my my history uh, with my back issues. Uh, I've tried to figure things out. I competed, you know, last June uh, 2018 in LA, tweaked my back again uh, in a deadlift only competition. So I'm trying to figure out what I need to do to training um, to keep me mentally healthy uh, and physically healthy and productive. So right now my, my gym sessions are literally based on what will allow me to be most productive in my life. Uh, what will make me feel good mentally, which right now is obviously shaking them hips for you boys. <laughs> Front way, back way, you know that I don't play. Uh, I just love um, feeling good. And so cardio in the morning, uh, I literally wake up First thing in the morning, grab a little bit of caffeine and head to the gym. I, I've been uh, on a legs push pull kind of routine. Sometimes I'll switch it up and do an upper lower depending on the frequency. Gym sessions aren't as consistent as they used to be. I'm still in the gym four to, four to six times a week. Um, but sometimes those days change because maybe on a Monday I have a four hour stream, an hour of YouTube and a two hour podcast. So I just don't have it in my schedule um, to go and get the squat in. So then that day will get pushed back or, or what have you. Um, main exercises uh, have been uh, bench press, incline dumbbell, uh, overhead, which is normally standing dumbbell, uh, and the squat. Um, each day obviously has a bunch of accessories around it, uh, a little bit more warming up than I used to. Um, that's been helping my back a lot. Kind of some kind of open hip standing uh, cardio has been really helping my back a lot. The deadlift, uh, I may try to add in later in the year, but right now I'm feeling really healthy, so I don't necessarily want to mess that up. So I've been doing a lot of step mill, uh, a little bit of a salt bike, although that's kind of closed hip. And then at my gym, they have this kind of running elliptical type thing, which allows me to uh, basically have a running pattern, but not have the impact on my knees. And that has allowed me to really, really, really help my low back. Today I hit a top set, uh, I think 405 for five. Uh, I've been putting the bar a little bit higher, staying way upright, which is something I've figured out has helped my back um, since the first time I, I injured it quite badly, probably about four years ago. Uh, so I put a lot of pressure on my quads, Building up the legs allows me to handle a good amount of weight, probably not my most optimal squat form. Uh, you know, using my low back a little bit more and putting the bar a little bit lower would probably allow me to use a little bit more weight. <laughs> Uh, so 405 for like five. And then, uh, I hit some drop sets 315 on the power squat. Uh, I got my boys in here, Kyle. Uh, if you guys follow any of the Twitch streams, he's one of my main teammates. We, uh, play call of duty with, and then the one and only Bryce Hansen. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen him in a long time, but he was a training partner of mine back in the day, super training gym. Uh, he, he lost his leg in a car accident and, uh, he found, found, uh, you know, his competitiveness and himself back in the gym again. And so him and I were training partners for a really long time. Uh, there he is right there. I tried to help him, uh, figure out a, a one leg deadlift. I tried to help him figure out a one leg squat. Uh, and then we were bench, bench pressing partners and, and Bryce's, uh, condition, uh, situation is a little bit different than a lot of people. Um, you know, there's, there's multiple people that, you know, had crazy accidents and have been lifting, but Bryce lost his leg basically at the hip. 
Um, and so for his balance, not only in the bench press, let alone life, let alone squat and deadlift, it's actually much more difficult. His prosthetic is all the way up at the hip, not just the knee. Um, and so, uh, it, it's fun, interesting, and, uh, it's just good to be around a guy like that, man, who's been through so freaking much, um, things I can't even begin to comprehend yet his positive attitude, he's always smiling. He's always joking. Uh, and that goes for my buddy, Kyle as well. Kyle, uh, right here, Benchin is an absolute freak athlete and up third round draft pick into the, uh, major league baseball, um, played pro baseball for a while, uh, ended up really messing up his shoulder, got some surgeries. Uh, I think he's still debating on a comeback. Um, but absolute freak, you know, the guy's six, five and I, I'd never lifted with him. Uh, we play video games every day. We, we hang out on the weekends. We, we chill. Um, but I've never trained with him and he just throws on 275 and throws around like nothing. Six, five, 210 pound dude. Um, really good at football as well. So it's fun to be around these guys, man. It's positive, uh, positive, positive energy. Uh, and obviously it feels really good to be back in tame strength. So not only for you guys, for the footage, uh, but also for my mental health, like I said, everything I'm doing in life is, is trying to optimize how I feel so that I can perform, so that I can work, so that I can live the life I want to live. And uh, being around Untamed Strength uh, felt really, really good. Sadly, Alan wasn't there. He was busy at a different seminar. Um, but I think I'm going to try to make it a one time a week, if not two time a week occurrence uh, to visit Untamed, get some squats and get some lifting in just to be in that environment. Plus, the weather is getting a little bit better. Uh, we had a real rainy kind of cold winter here in Northern California. Uh, so for there, uh, to be a little bit of spring, a little bit of sunshine, you know, we have a couple weeks of 70 and 80 degrees before it turns to the hundreds. Uh, and I would love, uh, love the vibe of, you know, gates open kind of warehouse style gym training that my, my current gym is nice. You know, we have some Alico products, a couple of platforms and things that I can really get, get in. And I can also just kind of put my hat down headphones on and get in a vibe, uh, and I'm in and out real quick, but there's something to it. Having everyone around you trying to get a little bit better. Everyone's real positive. So a couple squat PRs around the corner. I can feel them. I'm dieting a little bit. I'm trying to get on that shreds life so I can post better thumbnails. Look at those biceps. Jeez Louise. This kid's got like 20 inch arms. I'm trying to get some ab shots so we can get some views here on the Instagrams. Uh, but honestly, uh, all joking aside, I appreciate you guys. It feels really good to do a voiceover. It's been a long, long time. A couple vlogs on the way, a lot more training footage on the way. So be sure to subscribe. I, I hate this thing with the thumbs up. Appreciate you. I'm on Twitch every single day. Solid Mike with two Ks. 50% facts podcast on every platform. Solid Mike, we're out of here.